Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Board Game Edition. This week we'll be covering another game that is still currently on Kickstarter, and it's a chemistry themed card game called Valence. So to start off with the rules, we're going to begin with the setup. Uh, to set up the game, basically you take all the molecule cards and put them in piles in the center of the table to form the molecule bank. Then you shuffle the atom deck and deal each player six cards face down. Then the player who has the highest atomic number molecule in their hand, um, in this case this player has chlorine which has an atomic number of 17 listed right here under the chemical symbol. And this player has sodium, which has a molecular, uh, no, uh, not atomic number of 11, which uh, is the atomic number for sodium. So 17 is higher than 11, so the player with the chlorine will go first. Okay, so now that the game's been set up, I actually had the first player take his turn, uh, just to make you know, this a little easier, and you'll see why in a second. Um, so the player's turn is split up into two phases. The first phase is the draw a card phase. Now, the normal way to draw a card is that you either take the top card of the deck or the top card of the discard pile and you add it to your hand. Which means when you're playing cards, you have to be very careful about how you place things in the discard pile because you know that one that's on top, your opponent will have access to it at the beginning of their next turn. Now, in addition to the normal draw, there are two other conditional draw step, like conditional draw abilities. Uh, if a player has no cards in hand at the start of their turn, instead of drawing one card, they draw three cards straight from the top of the deck. They cannot, in this case, they cannot draw from the discard pile, but they get three random cards from the top of the deck. Uh, the second conditional draw step happens when a player has six cards that are either all positive or all negative in their hand. The maximum is six cards in hand, so if you have a full hand of either all positive cards or all negative cards, Instead, you discard your entire hand and draw six new cards and then continue your turn. Um, so those are the three different ways you could draw depending on what your hand is like at the beginning of your turn. Now the second phase is the build molecules, use molecule ability phase. Um, in this phase, you can do two actions any number of times and in any order you wish. Um, those two actions are build molecules and use molecule abilities. To build a molecule, you take cards from your hand that have a total uh, addition, like additive, no, add the numbers up to, add, add up to zero. So in this case, I got hydrogen here, which is a plus one, and I've got a fluorine here that is a minus one. One plus minus one equals zero, so I have a molecule. Now to determine what molecule I've made, I look here and match the colors that I've used to the colors that are listed on the molecule cards. I see here that I have a blue hydrogen and a red fluorine, so that means I made an acid. Um, this, I, this is because these are color coded, all halogens are red, all hydrogens are blue, oxygens are yellow, etc. So it's that, that way you can find out what you made and it, and it teaches you what molecules are in the process. Um, if you have any question about what molecules make up, uh, what atoms can be made into a molecule, you can look at the back and you can match it up. They actually have all the possible combinations listed on the back, as long as additional facts about the type of molecule, which is pretty cool and teaches a lot. So in this case, I built uh, an acid. So I'm going to take the two cards that I used, I put them into the discard pile. I'm going to choose to put fluorine on the top. No, I'm going to put hydrogen on the top because they put sodium on the top and then I take the acid card. Now, each of the molecules have their own special abilities. Like salt, you can discard and sacrifice the one point to discard any number of cards from your hand, or to discard your entire hand and draw that many cards. Um, it's good if you have like four or five negative cards or four or five positive cards, but not enough for to do the whole six redraw. Um, it's pretty useful, it has a lot of things, that a lot of uses. Um, now, there are also cards that can attack other cards to create reactions. Well, the same reactions that would happen in real life. So, I have an acid card here, and it says I can sacrifice this card to destroy an opponent's base and have them take a, a salt and a water card instead. 
So my, now that I built this acid, I'm going to discard it, putting it back into the molecule bank, sacrifice it, put it back in the molecule bank, to destroy my opponent's base. So they take their base and they put it back in, and according to the acid card, it, when you put, add acid to base, you make salt and water. So my opponent gets a salt and the water card. So basically what I did was I took their base, which was worth four points, and I brought it down to a water and a salt, which are each worth one. So basically I effectively caused them to lose two points. Now they have a water and a salt, which have their own abilities, but I was able to knock them down some points, which is pretty nice, especially considering my acid was worth zero points anyway, and it really wasn't doing me any good. Um, when you attack a player, you randomly steal a card from their hand. If they have no cards in hand, then you draw one card from the deck instead. Oh, there is one special uh, Atom card that I would like to mention. It's the Helium. You'll notice here that the Helium has a plus zero. That's because Helium is a noble gas. It is stable on its own. It actually does not react in real life. So it itself is its own molecule card. So you'll see here it's worth two points, just like any other molecule. And it says when you play it, each player switches hands one uh, to the left. So basically, you, you cycle hands around when this card is played. It adds a little nice, a nice little uh, trick feature to it. Um, there's only one helium card in the deck, and so it's pretty. It, it adds a little something extra, and it's really nice. So, and it is the only uh, atom card that is also a molecule. Uh, one last thing that happens on the, at the end of the turn is that if a player has more than six cards in their hand when they end their turn, they discard down to six. Uh, the first, so you keep players keep going back and forth, taking turns until one player has, scores ten points at the end of their turn. Um, they that player then wins the game. That's all for the rules. I hope to see you in our in my preview review video as well as my playthrough video. But if not, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember to stay geeky.